What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a justified Lucario team for ranked regulation F. Now Lucario, super strong Pokemon, especially due to its ability justified. Every time this Pokemon gets hit with dark move, it's going to go plus one on attack. Pairing that up with beat up Mousehold and beat up Whimsicott, you can make this thing go plus four in just one turn. Pair it with the choice ban as item, and this thing is going to do some crazy damage. I love this Lucario's moveset, it's got East Speed and Close Combat, also rocking out with Meteor Mash and Rock Slide. So you got two stab moves, East Speed to pair up with that normal terror type and for first turn priority, and you got that coverage. So this Pokemon is just made for damage. Like I said, we got Whimsicott, we got Mouse Holes for support, and then we got two stamina Pokemon on the team. We got Archaludon, brand new, the Regulation F, and then we also have Mudstale. So anytime these Pokemon get hit by a move, they're going to go plus one on defense and get super, super bulky, making their body press do more damage. The final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Annihilate, another Pokemon that really thrives from the beat up move. If it gets hit a bunch of times, it'll make its Rage Fist do more damage, and we can just kind of play off of that. So really dope team, really dope concept. Cannot wait to rock out with Lucario in Regulation F. But guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day, scroll down a little bit, and click that big red subscribe button. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Lucario. Let's get rolling here, looking for a win here in match number one, going up against a pretty standard meta team with Archer Ludon, Tornadus, Landorus, and then they're also rocking out with Urshifu, Pelipper, and Wilbur. So they have two ways of setting the rain. Not too bad. We could go into our Tailwind Setter right off the rip, or we could just stop rain all the round, right? We don't really need rain. They really only thrive off of rain because like they have Electro Shot and they have other Pokemon. Like that. But for us, we're not even rocking Electro Shot. So this just might be our, in our best interest to lead Whimscott and lead maybe like a Pokemon like Annihilate or even Choice Band Lucario to kind of get rolling here. And I could go Annihilate and maybe pop a bulk up turn one. That wouldn't be bad. That would not be bad. I could go into Lucario. Lucario's not bad either. But what's your Terror type Annihilate? That's my real question. What's your Terror type? You got a Fire Terror type, which is pretty solid. Pretty solid. I mean, a few Pokemon can really rip into you. With the fire terror type but i think you can counter some pokemon as well but i think i might just go lucario turn one is that what i want to do lucario yeah we'll go lucario and we'll also go in with annihilate so we'll go lucario annihilate and then in the back end we'll definitely go in with our arch ludon just because it's so bulky and stamina can really help us out in the late game so we're locking it in let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one but this team right here was actually made by another YouTuber that goes by the name of Songknife. Huge shout out to him. We'll be linking the Pokepace and links to his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to check out the team more depth, head down in the description below. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Who they got cooking here in match number one up against me? I wonder. And I wonder. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but um, they go into Tornadus and Landers. And I've been seeing this lead a lot on the ladder. <clears throat> so from here, we could pop a tail one. We do have Focus Ash on you as well, which is not bad. Actually, we don't. We just have the Covert Cloak and the Grass Terror type. So Tailwind, do we pop it? Yeah, we got to pop a Tailwind. They might pop a Tailwind with us, which wouldn't be bad. And from here, I might Terrasize Normal because the ground's kind of scaring me, right? The ground moves are kind of scaring me. Let's just speed normally the car because I want to drop this Rock Slide. Let's just speed normally. 156. Ooh kind of close you're kind of kind of real close i'm not gonna terrasize i'm just gonna go into a rock slide actually yeah we're gonna terrasize we're just gonna e speed this thing down actually choice band e speed they end up withdrawing this poop which is fine and who are you gonna go into from here what you got cooking here Arch mm, we don't like that one bit we don't like that one bit because I'm going to do like negative five damage. You're going to get a stamina boost. It's just going to be super, super up. But I have Arch Ludon in the back end alongside with my Annihilate. And Annihilate, eh, going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Nothing crazy. E-Speed's flying here. How much damage is this going to do? Five? Maybe seven? <laughs> no. But uh, they get the stamina boost. This thing's just going to start bulking up and going crazy. But Tailwind's gonna pop. Are they gonna go for a Bleak Wind Storm? Is real question. No, they go Tailwind for Tailwind. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I could beat up onto this, uh. I could beat up onto this thing. 
is not a bad move for us. I know I'm choosing E speed, but I could actually hard swap into what's it called. I could have hard swapped into uh oh annihilate there and beat up on that, but he's just gonna go for the protect here. We're gonna go for the E speed. It's gonna get blocked in. Archer Luna, what are you doing? Just going for a flash cannon, maybe in the room scott. I wouldn't mind at all because I get off this beat up. This thing is now gonna be plus four. Making it really, really strong. And I can start just E speeding through Pokemon. Lovely little E speed. So I'm kinda hoping they just flash cannon and take out my one scout, right? Probably be in their best interest. Let's see what Archie's going for. He could be going for a body press, but I mm, yeah, no, you could be. That could be scary. Flash cannon. Okay, so flash cannon comes out here. That's gonna take us out. It does. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. So we can E speed this slot. And we could go for bulk up, but we already know what he's going for, right? We kind of already know what he's going for. He's going to want to go for a body press in Lucario. That's that's a, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, you know what? I'm going to bulk up here. And I might hard swap Lucario. Even though you're plus six. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to bulk up here. If Lucario dies, Lucario dies. And we're just going to go for E speed into this slot. And hoping this Pokemon's not focused Ash as well. So I would love to get that plus one attack, plus one defense onto Annihilate. Start bulking this thing up while they start attacking my other Pokemon. That's not too bad. They're going to end up Tarasalize. Please don't be Ghost. Are you a Ghost Tornadus? You're a Ghost Tornadus. You're a Steel Tornadus. Okay, I could deal with Steel Tornadus a little bit. But I wish we choice into our punching moves. Our fighting moves would be awesome. Because I'm just going to E speed here. And I still do a ridiculous amount of damage. You were lucky. You were lucky. And they end up going for it. A bleak windstorm. The bleak windstorm comes out here. They're gonna take out Lucario, right? Bulk up comes out here as well. And from here, yeah, they end up body press. You're lucky that you survived that. Plus four, still did a ridiculous amount of damage. So now Lucario drops out here. We have an uh, annihilate, boosted plus one defense, plus one on attack. I can start getting off some. Some drain punches. This could be. This could be good for us. This could definitely be good for us. I still have Terra too, which is. Oh uh, no, we don't. We don't have Terra. I was gonna say we still have Terra, which is good. But I think from here, we just look to finish off the. I think we look to finish off the Tornadus and we just protect you, right? So we just go body press into you, finish off you, and kind of just go from there, right? Because I would think they have a hot chance of doubling down into my Annihilate at this point. Just because it's kind of a threat. We still have a decent chance of winning this match. As long as I can get some HP back for my Annihilate, we could be good. We could be good, but their other Pokemon's looking rather scary. They're Landorus. But he ends up just protecting there. That's not that big of a... That's not, that's not that bad of a turn. And I wonder what their Archaludon's going for. I could drop a Draco Meteor into our Archaludon. We end up going for a body press in that slot. Let's see what their arch is for. A flash cannon into my annihilate slot. So this is just a free turn for us. Um, I don't mind that too much. I really don't. But the problem here is we know that what's called is going to outspeed. He could set up another tailwind, which I wouldn't mind. But at this point, if you set up another tailwind, I would love to just rip into this arch loot on it if that's the case. Which I think they do, right? Because I could go Drain Punch and then just Draco Meteor this slot. But I think I'd rather go Drain Punch. And then just Body Press this slot. You're going to go for another Tailwind. Which you do. Which is fine. I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that. Because now we get our Flash Cannon. We should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah, we do. And of course you get a special defense shot, which kind of hurts the soul, but I do get the fine boost. So I like that on top of that. The Drain Punch flies. It's going to KO the Arch a little. We get back a ton of HP. A ton of HP. Maybe to full, right? No, not to full. But still. Up to 155 with leftovers ready to go. We get the body press this thing. This is where things get a little scary, right? This is where things get a little scary. Because they're going to bring out a Pokemon that's very high on the special attack. It's going to be that Sheer Force Landers. That's just too big of a threat for me to kind of handle. Could be. I don't know. It's just really tough for me to handle it. And we might have to double down into it. So Annihilate's minus one on Special Defense, which is kind of rough. But if it can get off a shot, 
It's gonna KO pretty much anything it touches. And then their final Pokemon is Shiv. Rillaboom. Okay. I mean, if I could just start landing Dream Punches, we'd love it. We would love it. So they do a Fake Out Radio. I could double Protect, which is probably my best bet, right? Just double Protect here. Wait, Arch Ludon, you have Protect, correct? No, you don't. You don't. I mean, they can't Fake Out my Annihilate. So at this point, we're just going to Dream Punch. We're going to get back as much HP as we can. And if I can, I would love to just drop a Draco Meteor into this slot. That's going to be our play. They can fake me out if they want to. They might just go for Grass Guide into an Annihilate alongside with like a Sand Seer Storm. And that could be a big time threat to us. Because we would probably just die out from there. They got Tailwind set up. They got all the speed. They could just start popping Wood Hammers. They got a lot of different options here. They need lots of different options. But I'm hoping my Annihilate can just clutch up. Sand Seer Storm comes out here. Who's dodging it? Archer Ludon dodges it. Annihilate survives. Hold up, wait a minute. What are you going for? A wood hammer on the side. You just gave me a shot. You just gave me a chance at winning. We get that stamina boost, baby. We get that stamina boost. Drain Punch gonna fly. Almost picking up the KO. I really thought that would pick up the KO. But we get back a ton of HP here. A ton of HP. Draco Meteor is gonna pop here as well. How much damage are we doing with Draco Meteor? Good chunk. This is such a solid match. We have our special attack dropped. Um. Do I just protect Annihilate? I think we just protect Annihilate here. Because there's a chance that they double down. There's definitely a chance that they double down. My defense is starting to get boosted pretty well. But I think from here we just protect you. And then we just go into a body press. Into Roll Boom to finish that off. Or we could try to go for another Draco Meteor. But it's really not going to do anything. It's really not going to do with it because we're minus two on special special attack now. So I'm going to go body press and roll. I'm going to protect the Annihilate, thinking that they might double down into that. Sansir Storm can do some damage on the mini, but hopefully we can dodge it again. Yep, he goes for Grass Guide in that slot, and then probably a Sansir Storm. So Arch Luna, can you eat up this Sansir Storm? I need you eating up. I need you eating up. This is such a good first match. You should be able to eat this up, right? Love you, Arch Luna. I love you, dude. I love you. We get the stamina boost. We're going to take out the Rillaboom here. And as long as my Annihilate is able to soak you, which I don't even know if it can. I was going to say we should be fine, but I don't know if Body Press can. KO. I think he soaks the Sand Seer Storm, but if they go for like a different move, it's just going to be a little bit of a problem. But nice little soaks up for Arch Ludon. He is now plus three, I think, on his stats. You're plus three on attack. I know that. Look at you. Oh my lord, and I like, Oh my lord, chill on him. From here, we'll go for Rage Fist because I know this will KO. And on top of that, we'll stick with Body Press. We'll stick with Body Press. Right? Yeah. Oh, you're plus two. Plus two on defense. But we're still going to stick with Body Press. Hopefully, this one Body Press can KO. Let's see what he ends up doing. He ends up going for a Sand Seer Storm. And I like, should soak. It does not. Did you get a crit on that? You get a crit on my Annihilate to win the game? Come on, man. Yo, my RNG has been terrible. That should have been a win in our book. It's starting to get a little ridiculous at this point. My RNG has been terrible lately. We played the match really well. We get Annihilate set up. We get a little bit of HP back with Leftover versus Grass Train just to get critted by a Sand Seer Storm. Come on, man. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit, but we're looking for a first win here in match number two, going up against a Meowth Garada and Greninja Squad. They also have Iron Valiant, Talonflame, uh, what's that Pokemon? Great Tusk, and last but not least, Fletcher. So a solid lead for us, something I kind of like would be like, hmm, Annihilate Mousehole? Always works really well. We could go into a Tailwind Setter with like Wimbiscot, so we could go Wimbiscot Annihilate. That's definitely an option for us. Um, hmm. Who should I rock out with? I kind of like the Annihilate. I definitely like the Annihilate. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Annihilate, and I think I'm just going to go in with Mousehole. I actually like Wimscott a bit better. So I'm going to go Wimscott. I'm going to go Lucario in the back end. And last but not least, I want one of the stamina boys, either Mudsdale or Arch Ludon. And I'm kind of leaning towards Arch Ludon just because of all these typings right here. Something I really like. So let's go. Let's get after it. Looking for a win here in match number two. We're 0-1. We should be 1-0, which kind of sucks. But, you know, RNG has been doing me dirty lately. So we'll see who they lead. They could lead Talonflame, which is most likely, right? I do have the Fire Tower, which is pretty solid on Annihilate. 
And that's exactly what they did. They go tower. Through. So they could go brave for in the battle and start turning on. I think we just have to set up a tailwind. I think we go tailwind for tailwind and we terrestrialize our annihilate at the same time. And then we set up a bulk up. That's not bad. Terra bulk up. And then just tailwind on top of that. Something I really, really like. So we're going to do that. If we can manage to get off one more turn with Sakat, I wouldn't mind just going for a beat up here. Because at this point, our defense will be boosted. The beat up will do less damage than it already does. And on top of that, we can boost our Rage Fist damage. So that's something I like. So Tailwind coming out here. Nice little Terra just to dodge the Fairy and the, uh, and the uh, Brave Birds that could potentially come in here. We end up just going Tailwind for Tailwind, which is definitely fine by me. Definitely fine by me. Ends up going for a Moon Blast. The Moon Blast my Wimscott, which Wimscott ends up so good. And I get off this big time bulk. So bulk up out and about. Beautiful. Lovely. Awesome. Dope. Get my defense up. So from here, now we could go in Drain Punch, but it's not very effective on the boo. Rage Fist might be a better option for us. And I really want to try to go for Rage Fist into Talon Flame, but I feel as Talon Flame is just going to be able to take out my... I feel like Talon Flame is just going to be able to take out my Whimscott with a Gale Wing Spring Bird. That's definitely an option. But maybe it doesn't. You know, we're going to go for Beat Up. We're going to try it. And then we just ends up going for an Air Slash instead. Whimscott dodges it. That's beautiful. That is beautiful that we dodged it. Whimscott with the big time dodge. I'm able to go for Beat Up. And we're hoping this thing is Cobra. Because if it is, that means it's not Focus Ash. And we should just be able to take it out. This Beat Up's just boosting us just boosting us here which is lovely that we dodged that air slash reach fist flying should be able to ko and of course your focus ash but hey wimscott should be fastest on the field now which is really good right actually you might not be faster than talent flame you might not be faster than talent flame which is a little bit of an issue but i could go lucario let me see your speed yeah i don't know if you're faster than talent flame a bit of an issue, but so we're just gonna rock another Rage Fist into the Valiant, and I will go for an Energy Ball into this. And we look to finish off Talon Flame. It goes for another Aurora Spear, and Energy Ball is out speed, so that's beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, Valiant's fast on field. We get rid of Talon Flame. Cool. Talon Flame's gone. Iron Valiant's gonna be dead here too. Um, I'll probably just protect next turn. My Annihilate, just so I get back a little bit more leftovers. And we'll kind of go from there. We'll let Wimscott die out. We could bring out Lucario. We could bring out Ludon. And I really like this lead that we did. I love the lead that we did. The lead and the terror really helped us. That fire terror was big time. Allowing him not to just tackle into my Annihilate typing wise, right? Moonblast and all that stuff was really scary. But Grand Ninja flies out here. And the Alscarada. Okay. It's actually not bad. That's not too bad. But yeah, we're definitely just going to protect her. Get some HP back. Um, and I might throw up a sunny day. I'm going to throw up a sunny day before we actually leave here. Before my Wimscott dies. Because, is that going to help us out here? Yeah, it's not going to hurt us in any way. Sunny day. Yeah, I doubt they have any fire moves. But this can neutralize the water moves that Green Ninja has. So, that's something I actually really like. They don't have no Protosynthesis. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with throwing this up before we actually die out here. Actually, really cool with throwing up a sunny day. I'm going to Sunny Day just to stop any, like, Water Shrekking damage coming in here. Any other water moves that he wants to rock out with. And there's a Flower Shrek coming in the slot. And you're just going to take out my Wimscott. So that's, that's totally fine. So this thing's just going to use this Protean Switch to Grass, and it's just going to stay Grass. Okay. Not shabby, not shabby. So Wimscott ends up dying out here, and what are you going for? A Water Move, probably. Most likely. Hydro Pump. Yes. So Sunny Day is going to help us out a little bit. We're going to be able to block this turn one. And from here, now what is my plan? What's my what, what's my plan? Probably going to Lucario, right? And start E-speeding. These Pokemon are kind of on the lighter side of things. I'm not too worried about Grand Ninja. I'm more so worried about Miascarada. Because I got Arch Loot on with that Soul Fest as back. And so I'm going to go into Lucario here. I think I'm just going to start attacking Miascarada. Right, E speed Meowskarada. I could put close combat into that slot. I could do a lot more. Um but the problem would be Flower Trick, right? Flower Trick, it's probably rather hard. But I'm gonna try to pull off a drain punch here. 
into the Grand Ninja slot, and I'm just gonna stick with E-Speed, right? Yeah, I'd rather get off damage than anything, right? I mean, what's your speed actually require? Because you might be fastest on the field. You want 56. Mm, I think Miyashkara is definitely faster. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with E-Speed. Gonna do the damage. They just cancel battle. Beautiful. So they don't even get take the chance. We end up winning match number two. So, ladies and gentlemen, one and one. You guys know what that means. We're looking for a winning record here in match number three. Got to use Lucario or got to bring out Lucario in match number two. Wanted to at least use it, but they ended up just canceling the battle. We take those wins, but I still want to use Lucario. We'll probably bring it in the back end yet again. We're going up against a Don Dozo and Taz Gary team. So that could be a big time threat to us, right? I do have Annihilate, which I think I kind of want to lead again, right? I kind of want to lead it again. You give me every reason to lead that Pokemon. I could lead it with Mouse Hole this time. Mouse Hole's not too bad. It has a beat up. It has a Super Fang. I like it a lot. Probably going to be my lead. Is it going to be my lead? Let me see one of these moves one more time. Sunny Day, Energy Ball, Beat Up. Mm, I love the Tailwind. I just love the Tailwind of this team. The Tailwind Speed Control of this team is just phenomenal. So I think we just go Annihilate, Whimsicott, we go Lucario. And last but not least, we go Archer Lingo. It's just a must. It's just a must. We're doing it. We're doing it again. We're locking in. We're locking down. No Mudsdale. No Mudsdale and Dale. Even though I love that Pokemon. Giant Horse. Actually, fun fact. In my Sword and Shield days, my best team that I ever used or my longest win streak was with a Mudsdale team. A stamina or no. An own tempo Mudsdale team where I would just lead Grimmsnarl, lead Mudsdale, swagger him all day, Dynamax him, and just start ripping. It was just unstoppable in like the low series. But this works out perfectly. They end up leading in Cinnamore. We get that free attack boost. Thank you so much for that free attack boost. And now from here, I can start throwing drain punches. I could, he's probably gonna fake out my one cut. Let's be real here. And I think from here, we just try to set up this Tailwind. Yeah, I mean, you fake out one cut, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, what's, what is that? Uh, Reggie Draco going to Dragon Energy me? I don't know. He's going to trash this. Reggie Draco going to Steel Terror maybe? Maybe going for a Terror Blast? Dragon Terror. So you're looking just to go for a Dragon Energy. Okay, I see you. I understand. I understand you've going to fake out the Whimscot. Yeah, I mean, I know. It's fine. As long as Annihilate soaks up the shot. I got Cobra Cloak too. Actually, Annihilate should go first here. And just for some reason you live on one you live on one you one hp bandit that's exactly one hp that might be half of one hp that was so low but dragon energy is gonna fly here he's looking just to dump on my annihilate it doesn't affect my whimscott and from here can we soak this the big time soakage a crit a crit a crit today come on man come on man i don't need to be critted right now i don't need to be critted right there that's not cool that's so not cool that's not cool at all. So I do have Tailwind up. How fast are you? You're 108. You're going to outspeed. I'm just going to bring out Archer Luna here. Are you kidding me? We get critted there? I think we survived that. Even though Dragon Energy does an absurd amount of damage. And I is just so bulky. But from here, I'm free to just drop this Draco Meter, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And if I can... I actually don't even know what we do with this thing. <laughs> I don't know. We, I don't even know what we do. I think we just double down into this thing. We go for body press, but I have to attack this thing. And Scott, what are you doing here? Nothing. You, 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 I'm, you're just, I'm just going to sacrifice you. I'm just going to go for an energy ball because you have a chance to learn special defense. So. We go for energy. Five and a half damage. Actually, more damage than I thought it would. Pretty cool. You're outspeeding me, which is absurd. And Archaludon survives, which is beautiful. So Archaludon survives. We get a lovely little stamina boost. And I get the pop the circle meter, which should KO. Thank you. Thank you. I got my special defense drop, but I am stamina boosted. So now hopefully they don't have any other Pokemon that can outspeed us in the tailwind. Archaludon speeds at 216. And he ends up going for a knockoff, which I soak. So Wimscott gets another turn. And now I'm two plus two on stamina. So we still have Metagross in the back end. 
Oh, not Metagross, uh, Lucari. The other steel type. And they now throw out this thing. Now, this thing is rather annoying. We're going to go for a body press into Don Dozo. And on top of that, we're just going to go for an energy. Hopefully, he swaps the Incineroar. I can definitely see that happening. But if they just protect Don Dozo, it's a problem. No, they end up swapping. So, Don Dozo probably outspeeds us now. It's a problem. And this is just not looking good for us. Tatsugiri coming in here and just finishing off this matchup. But yeah, it's not looking good. Definitely not looking good. So he gets all the stat boost. Maybe we get lucky we get a crit. To try to make up for the last match. But he probably outspeeds my arch lord now. Definitely not my Wimscott. And Wimscott's gonna be able to do some damage. Maybe critting? No. No crits allowed. And body press. We do outspeed. So doing about 5 damage. He's just gonna go for an EQ. The EQ's up. He's gonna take out arch lord. Wimscott eats. And now we get to bring out Lucario. So, Lucario is going to be able to outspeed this Don Dozo. But I don't know how much da damage this thing's really going to do with the plus two on defense. We are choice ban. We do want to probably go into a stab move of, like, close combat, but that just lowers our defense. But it's our best bet. It is our best bet. If we're going to if we're gonna win this match, it's going to be Lucario absolutely ripping in this thing with uh, close combat. But I just don't see it doing that much damage, right? We still have Terra, too. We could Terrasalize maybe into normal just to neutralize some weaknesses and that's probably our best bet to just do that and actually let's go beat up right beat up we can just get justified i mean it will give us a plus two boost which is pretty solid better than nothing and yeah that is hands down our best bet and we go normal just to neutralize our weaknesses to like Q. Maybe, maybe this could work out. Hold up. We, we're here. We're here. We're here. Probably should have went into him last turn. But this works out. Fine. Speed up some commanders. Should hit twice. So we go plus two here with choice ban. And close combat. How much how much damage are you doing? If you can KO down those, that'd be ridiculous. Close combat flying here. Oh my god, that's nothing. That's unaware too. I don't know where it just neutralized all that stuff. That's ridiculous. This Pokemon is insane. So close combat, not even doing half of that damage. I mean. Both my Pokemon soak, though. Both my Pokemon soak. Both of them are soaking. And my Tailwind's gone. So now we have to set up another Tailwind. And actually, we probably maybe didn't have to, but this thing's plus two on speed. I really don't want to, didn't want to get out speed by this Don Dozo. Can we get a crit? No help? No. We just don't. My defense has dropped. Now he just EQs and finishes me off. Don is so strong, man. It really is. It really is. Absurd. Absurd. So yeah, I should have probably thought about unaware. Are you going to crit on my Wimscott? I probably should have thought about unaware and just went for energy ball. But still, that damage output is just insane. It's able to soak up so many shots. And we go 1 and 2 for today's video. So guys, we ended up going 1 and 2 for today's video. Easily should have been a 2-1 winning record if that first match doesn't get a crit. But Lucario, a lot of fun to use on the regulation F ladder. Definitely underwhelming though. There's a lot of other Pokemon that are just better than him, right? It's a glass cannon. It dies out really easily. But still, this channel is all about fun. And I feel like we had a good time today showcasing Lucario. You had Annihilate being a big heavy hitter for the squad. And then you also had Archaludon, Mousehold, Wimscott, and Mudsdale all doing the roles in this team. Like I said, we should have had a winning record today. Today. Still feel as we play this team pretty well. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.